Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 iPhone settings that you should change right now. Changing these settings will improve the overall user experience, your privacy, and of course also will make the battery life last longer. So let's get started with these settings. Go ahead and change them right away on your device to make your iPhone experience way better. First of all, let's start with the notifications. Now, if you go to settings and go to notifications, you will see right here a section where it says show previews. So if you go right here, you will see always when unlocked and never. So what this does is that it will always show a preview of your notification. So you get a message on your lock screen, there will be the notification for the message and also there will be the message. So someone will be able to see your messages if your phone is on a table or somewhere, they will be able to see your messages. So the best thing is to basically select never or if you want to, you can go ahead and select when unlocked. So only when your device is unlocked, it will show a preview of the notification. If you go to the face ID and passcode section or touch ID, whatever that is for you, right here, if you scroll down, then you will have here a section that says allow access when locked. So all these things will be accessible even if your device is locked with touch ID, face ID or a passcode. So from here, you can basically go ahead and turn off any of these things. So I suggest you turn off like the control center or Siri, or if you have a wallet, you can turn off wallet. It will show right here. So the things will be protected because all of these things are accessible. If you leave them like this, they are accessible even if your device is locked. A lot of people complain and struggle with storage on their iPhone. Make sure you go to settings, you go to camera and from here go to formats. What you can do here is choose high efficiency. That will change the format of the pictures that you take and will take up less, way less space on your iPhone. Now, if you have a restricted data plan or you don't have a lot of data to, to use on your iPhone, then make sure you go to settings, go to cellular and just scroll down here and make sure you go ahead and turn off Wi-Fi assist. Now, what this does is that when your Wi-Fi connection is not that strong, it will automatically go ahead and turn to the cellular data. And that of course will consume your cellular data that might just change and you don't even notice it and you will consume a lot of data. So if your data is restricted, go ahead and turn off Wi-Fi assist. If you go to your settings and go to privacy, then if you scroll down, you will see analytics right here. So what this does is that it will share your analytics data, different data, it will share it with Apple. So you want to turn that off from here. You can see all the data that you can see right here. All these files will be created and shared with Apple. So this will of course keep all of your, your data private if you don't want to share any analytics with Apple and also will consume less battery because this will be working all the time in the background. Another thing you want to do under the privacy section is go ahead and go to advertising and make sure you turn on right here limit ad tracking. So it, the ads basically won't track your interest and all that and show you all the time ads wherever you go. So just go ahead and basically enable right there under privacy advertising enable limit ad tracking go to settings and then go to password and accounts and right here go to fetch new data right here what you want to do is just check here if it's like every 15 minutes make sure you go ahead and basically make it hourly or even manual so it won't fetch the data just like every 15 minutes that of course will consume your battery if you go to the iTunes and App Store section under the settings, you will see right here in app ratings and reviews. So what this is, all the time when you install an app or a game, it will show you a pop up asking you to review or rate that app or game on the App Store. So that doesn't happen. Make sure you turn off that little button right there. If you go to your settings and go to privacy, then you will see right here a section that says motion and fitness. What this does is that it will track your motion in order to display data on like, like the health and the fitness apps. If you don't need that, make sure you go ahead and turn off right there fitness tracking, or you can do that individually for each of the apps that you might have right here on the list. And last but not least, 
When setting a wallpaper on your device, always make sure that you set it as still. If you set it as perspective, you will get that little nice animation, but that of course consumes battery and of course it requires processing for it to work. So make sure you just go ahead and set the wallpapers as still. So that is it for this video guys, these are 10 iOS settings that you should change right now. Make sure you change them to get a better experience on your iPhone or iOS device. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.